brothers and my sisters, in Christ Jesus, our Lord and our blessed Savior, we come here today to encourage all mothers who, who try as hard as they can to raise their children up in the love of the Lord. Yes, sir. Yeah, we come here today for none other just to encourage you. I strongly commend you today by the power for hands of God Almighty as an instrument for him today. Thank you very much for all that you do, mothers. I want to thank you. I want to speak on behalf of all the children. Thank you for taking care of your children. I know we said earlier that some things that mothers do, they never have anyone to tell them that they are appreciative of what they have done or what they are doing. But I come here to speak as a mouthpiece for the Lord to tell you on behalf of the children, thank you so much. Amen. The Bible, it, it, it talks about, in our text today, in our scripture verse, it talks about a mother and and. and a grandmother, you know the story, that had teamwork. And their teamwork was raising up a young man of God. Came together, came together, and, and, and they worked strategies together in raising up this young man. We talking about two females now, raising up a young man. Uh, you know, you, you, you take some females, and they, some females, they rear children, they're t tougher. If you don't watch them, they're tougher than some male. They don't play. Elder Pickle was up here talking about one of, one of our members' names would call me, say, now that's a person right there, I don't play. Now she, so she don't play right there. And, and, amen. And, and, and that's what we had here in our test. We, we have here in our test, we have a grandmother and a mother who All right. teamed together. And, and they raised up a young man of God. And his name was Timothy. Y'all know him. He was uh, the Apostle Paul's most trusted companion and disciple. Think about that Paul. Paul, God had blessed him to, amen, do some dynamic preaching. And he was very good friends with a young man by the name of Timothy. Yeah, Timothy loved to be with 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 with, with, with Paul. He, he loved to hang around Paul. Amen. He loved to hang around Paul. But 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 one of the areas of, of, of Timothy in 2 Timothy uh, 1 and 5, uh, we, we, we find recorded is these women. But church, I want you to notice here today, uh, I want you to notice the strong saying that Paul he says about them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, some strong talk. He, 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 he just didn't, he said some powerful words. Now listen, listen now uh, to, to this verse. Uh, in 2 Timothy 1 and 5, he said, when I call to remembrance the unfriend, un unfriend faith that is in thee, which well at first he said these words in thy grandmother Lois and in our mother Eunice and, 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 and look, look what he said he said I am and I am persuaded that in thee also in other words I, I'm persuaded that what they taught you you know talking about the, the grandmother and the mother what they taught you is in you you know evidently evidently uh, 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 we had parents that, you know, knew, knew, knew the Bible. You, 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 you had to learn some scripture verses. You, you know, back then when you went to Sunday school, you had to have you a verse or two. Right. Amen. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Amen. Everybody loved to pull out. And, you know, folks back then in Sunday school, you had some fast hand raisers. And folks pull out because they know the parents, my best mom would kill you because... They didn't want to preach in the church to think they weren't talking Bible in the house. That's right. And, and, and the hands would go up so fast and be able to break out that, that, that quick verse, Jesus will. <laughs> Somebody else, man, you got my verse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, some of us we learned, we, we got a little, a little knowledge. 
you know, we were able to quote, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not go on You know, we had a few verses. You had to have some verses. Because back then, mamas didn't play. When it, when it comes down to the shame, it's in the church. They, they wanted to make a preacher thing, make a preacher thing. Uh, I grew up in, in Zion Baptist, so when, and then we got old, I you know, left and we moved my membership. But when, under the umbrella of my mama, I had to go to Zion Baptist Church. And, 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 and back then, now, let me, let me share, the ladies wore them big old hats. You know, they, they coming out, they had the outfits, they were clean, and had gloves on, pocketbook that matched the outfit. And, you know, some of them, in one time, they had one of the little fox pieces, <laughs> you know, around, had fox eyes, and fox mouth, and all that stuff on the fox. Scared the children to death, scared the children to death. But they were clean, they were clean. They, they, were, they come in, they come in, they come in, they, they, they had to get the stockings together. Everything was, had to be right. The shoes had to match the pocketbooks and all that stuff. Amen. They didn't want nobody to think that God, they didn't have much money. But they didn't want the church to think that God wasn't in their house. Anybody with me today? Yeah, 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 yeah. So church, did you know that, that these women in our text were responsible for passing their faith? And, and, and they were responsible for passing their faith to the next generation. Help me for just a little while first. Will you come now? Will you come? Don't look at me. Come a little closer. And let's look at Lois. What does the name Lois mean? The, 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 the name Lois means of will and desire. First in order to, to, to teach others about God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. somebody else. Hmm. God has to be agreeable and desirable in our lives. All right. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have to agree with, the, with God. We have to agree with the word of God. It has to be desirable down in the depths of our soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, you, you, when you're down, when we pick up the book. Amen. I don't care what we're going through when we're down and out, when we pick up the book. Desirable. When it's desirable, we rely on God. We understand that God can change anything like that. Yeah. 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 that we're going through. I believe that the Lord, she, she lived up to her name because Apostle Paul, he prays. And he, he prays in, 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 in second, the second letter yeah, yeah, to Timothy as, as one who, who passed the mountain. Of faith to her. Amen, amen. She passed it to her daughter and her grandson. So, so look at her now. Now, now. now, in her house, you couldn't sit down and just eat. You know how we do today, you know. In the day, you know, folk go in whatever area, wherever the TV, whatever they want to look at, they, they go in there. We, 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 don't, we, don't, we don't do like we was taught. We don't do like we was reared up to do. Back then, you couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't come to the table any kind of way. I don't care how big a hurry you were, you couldn't come down and eat and run. You had to sit down. Amen. You had to pray together. I had a humming problem. I had an eating humming disorder. And, and, and sometimes food get good, gravy and apple get good. Amen. I thought that you could eat and sing or hum. Amen. But in my house, in my house that I reared up, Mama said, "Boy, you can't do that at the table. That's shameful." Amen. The hum. Some of y'all have some disorders too. Yeah. You know, smacking, you know, yeah. eating and chewing, food mouth open. You couldn't do that. Because every now and then, back then, churches had functions where they had food and, amen. But parents back then didn't want you shaming them. You don't see the rest of eating, just showing everything. Yes, yes. Yeah, mama used to tell them, close your mouth and chew your food. Take your time. Amen. Go back and do a little 
doing research. A lot of grandmothers, but in Timothy, it, uh, the only place where the term grandmother is used. Yeah, in Timothy, the church of Lords was a, 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 a devout Jew who, who had obviously instructed her daughter and her grandson, instructed them in the Old Testament scriptures. You see, you can't expect a child to know if we don't read the book ourselves. The Bible says train up a child in the way that they, they would go when they get old. They won't depart. So we have to read and, and, and be able to, amen, express the Bible and talk about the Bible. Some folks still send their children to Sunday school. But never stick their head in Sunday school themselves. And that's a shameful thing to do. The scripture is silent about Lord, about a husband, yet we do know that Lord gave her daughter a Greek name, which might indicate that her husband is a Greek. The family lived, amen, among the people who worship, amen, the gods of Greece. Yet she faithfully raised her daughter to love God and to help raise her grandson to love God as well. Okay. So even though uh, Eunice had a, a, a Greek name that, that is the, derived from the name Nike. I'm not talking about Nike tennis shoes now. I'm talking about the name Nike. <laughs> uh, which, which was of victory. Her name actually, it means conquering. Amen. Conquering well. Her name, uh, amen, it also means happy victory. You was too lived up to her name. She had victory. Amen. Over immortal society in which she lived in. She had victory because she raised her son upright. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amen, amen. Uh, she married a Greek man. And he was a Gentile. Therefore, he was considered an unbeliever. All right. Church to them was born a son whom they named him Timothy. All right. When Paul first visited by